Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel HR Tech. Hope you're all doing good. This is Zuhaib Nasir, and today we are going to be presenting to you a very easy and effective dashboard that we have made. This dashboard is actually, you could say, uh, could be used in the working of the HR department. Usually, the HR or in some cases, the admin guys are involved in the overtime calculations and data or analysis related to overtime and the senior management usually wants to have uh, the information regarding hiring or overtime or such stuff because it involves costs and a lot of things so this is a dashboard made in excel a very easy but gives a very simplified look to a very large and bulk amount of data raw data which is actually analyze and scattered in a very systematic way in this uh, dashboard which is made through slices i'll give you a snapshot of how this dashboard actually looks like this is how it is this is the uh, like you could say the main front face of the dashboard the backend information obviously i, I will not be sharing over here this is uh, a working that we made f uh, because a lot of uh, data is analyzed on monthly basis for overtime so this is uh, we'll explain you the dashboard this is an overtime dashboard where the information relevant to overtime on monthly basis or uh, department wise and des designation wise is uh, presented over here we'll uh, present you or tell you the different sections that we have now first of all comes the overtime the number of employees that uh, like the total number of employees in each month the months are mentioned over here and the number of employees like 384 employees had overtime in july 409 in august 406 in september so the number of employees who did overtime then comes the overtime hours how many hours in a month like 12 332 hours in july 10,540 hours in August so the overtime hours by month is presented over here and then is the overtime amount what is the amount in PKR that is mentioned month wise in this section then we come downwards to see the dispatch since it's in the textile context so what is the dispatch per month over here we have the dispatch total number like 170817 is the dispatch for July then for August 157345 the dispatch that is actually the total number of uh, genes that is exported or sent to the clients and then the monthly production for all the departments bulk washing cutting that is mentioned over here for July August September so it's actually five to six months data this is a huge amount of raw data that is actually summed up in a very beautiful way through slices now how can we analyze this information that is also one aspect that we'll cover over here in this section for example on this side we see the departments now if we want to see that how much uh, was the overtime information for the ie department so this is how you see the graphs have changed the overtime by number of employees over time hours that is for this particular department that comes over here if you want to see any other department like the admin department so the graphs are going to change as soon as i select any department the ppc department the quality department so this is how it looks we'll open up the filters then on the other side we can also do it like the designation wise if you want to see how many office boys did over time that will come for and it will mention the department as well over here the admin department the office boys if you want to see the packers so in the finishing department we have the packers and their overtime information now if you want to see the data entry operators that is three different departments and their information designation wise that is mentioned over here so you can see the information designation wise and department wise we'll open up the filter again and now if we want to see it for a specific month if we want to see it for september so the graphs change yet again i'll zoom out so if you want to see it for november the graphs change again if you want to see it for july it'll change again same goes for october so this is how in different ways 
you can use this dashboard and analyze information and it's a very useful tool to actually present a huge amount of data into a very uh, compact form so hope you like the video thank you so much bye